What's good, YouTube? Today we have the Easy Duelist who uh, did a lot with Hunter Lloyd on this deck. This is going to be DDD Yang Zings with a few new cute things that weren't in Hunter Lloyd's regional deck. But the Easy Duelist is the pilot here in collaboration with Hunter who uh, had over 9,000 views, I believe, on his deck profile from regionals. And a lot of people requested I want to see gameplay with it. But this is a little different. We'll show the deck list at the end because there's even extra ways to Deng Long Turbo in this deck. Let's go ahead and watch. So this is against full power DDDs and as you can see, pretty good hand. I feel like he could probably do more than he does. I've watched these replays actually instead of a first reaction because I wanted to see some of the deck actually and it was pretty fun to watch. So we have a Gust and a Beowulf. I just feel like with that opening hand there had to be such a better board that could uh, happen. So he's going to play his own DDD card and here it goes into uh, an instant fusion instead of having to use Lamia right away. And there's one Deng Long already. Deng Long, Long, Long. And he's going to go an alternate route of play here with Scarlight. Going to be able to do a board wipe there for 2,000 and hit for 3,000. But the DDD player isn't done yet. He's got slimes loaded. And uh, we've got a bunch of back row, though. It's highly unlikely he's going to be able to get past him. And there's a Twin Twister to the scale already. And as you can see, there's just nothing his opponent can do. Uh, and he just takes this L. But we're going to play out to the full stability and make a Yazzie. And go ahead and take the W. This deck is kind of like a control-based deck. Because you're, you're going to get options to be able to explode on your opponents but you're also going to have elements of control like nine branches so as you see here he has double nine branches set for even sets the twin twister uh and the despots actually have quite the uh, hand going for them here so he's going to be able to stop the first thing and get a float and there's a chi win and he's going to load up for a pendulum summon and he's going to go for destruction, and he's going to get the neg there too. But looks like the Despot player actually knows what they're doing a bit. And he's going to send, destroy, and then he's going to go ahead and go back to him. But Jiao too not able to activate his effect, of course. Actually going to ram. Get a synchro play here. And there's the Denglong. Well, actually he's going to get rammed and not be able to. Ooh, that ram hurt. And he's going to be able to pop. We have a Herald of the Arclight that can't be killed by battle now. So you see these control elements. It's just really funny. It's You can't touch this. But he's going to keep going and find other ways to do things. Dimensional Barrier for Synchro. But that actually turns off his own Herald's effect there. Not that it matters since there was no battle phase. Now we've got a Call. And a Trish is actually going to end this game. So... Getting to show off uh, a fun way on how his own deck got beat. I think that's pretty cool of him. And, you know, it's not always the W's with the decks that we're showing off. Oh man, Death Spots. 2K17. And yeah, the rip, unfortunately, is not going to be enough. It is Rip Arenos for the Yang Zings here. <laughs> Parkeon, you didn't see that coming. Oh man, Despot's fighting back. But the rest of these, I believe, are W's for our uh, DDD Yang Zings. <laughs> it's just so funny, Despot's. So here's Pendulum Magicians. This is a uh, deck not quite out yet that's going to do their thing. And it looks like we've got a uh, Sky Iris that's going to protect the Magician cards. Well, actually perform Palinodize cards, not Magician cards, so it won't protect them from Ogre. Uh, but it will protect... Uh, Things like the Odd-Eyes cards. That's okay, that's okay. He says it's all okay. Actually might know what he's doing more than I do. Ooh, Torrential. And he's going to get to Resolve. Needs to get to something and gets to Instant Fusion. But that's not what he needed for now. Going to go ahead and Synchro for Yazzie. Yazzie pops. Yazzie's going to get Effect. She won. And now the Instant Fusion is going to pop off. Ooh, Trish play? Nope. Ding Long always. And there's a Path. Ooh. I like where this is going. So Omega's going to be able to rip anything that goes to hand. But Buku's going to get played right away. And going to get negated. <laughs> Shuffled back, not destroyed. It's so cool, the control elements of this deck. And I can't wait to show you guys the new combo for uh, Dang Along. I believe I saved one of the replays that does it. Ooh, Chanbara. Going to be able to power up here. And going to be able to attack for game. 
Pendulum Magicians will be a real deck, by the way. Uh, so, here is Skull Servants with Lawn Mowing. And I, this is actually a very back-and-forth game. Very excitable, very enjoyable. Uh, so, he's going to pop off. He's going to get to go Lawn Mowing. Has a lot of resources here. He's popping off. Gonna go with Solitaire. Ooh. I like where this is headed. Levy Air Dragon. I haven't actually watched this one all the way through, I think. I stopped because it looked really good. So, here we have the three. We got an Omega setup. We got a 3k? Yeah, 3k King of the Skull Servants. Starting off with Tear Top. Always strong, but it, to me this looks kind of bricky. But this is actually a, a Deng Long by itself. But he normals the Plague instead gets Deng Long. Ooh, Scarlight once again. Seems like the MVP of clearing boards. And goes for 3,000. But remember how many resources. He actually sent back a Mizuki too. This guy has <laughs> and another Lawn Mowing. Not going to be able to activate it. His opponent has more cards. But look how he's popping off. So he's going to use Zombie. Oh, Void Ogre. And another King at 5k. But only Zombies can attack this turn. Uh, thanks to you and a Zombie. So sitting, sitting down versus a Negate. He's not going to stop this, it looks like. He's going to Omega to it instead. Yazi is going to pop off. And all this is okay, I guess. Unless I'm missing something. And Danglong is going to come into defense. You don't want to hit that. So I guess he was saving it for something more real. And now has a card in hand, so this activation is fine. Gets rid of all of his cards in hands. And there's a negate that it can't stop as a counter trap. And Creation's going to pop off with the Chain Link 2 of Dang Long. Man, this float game is insane. Now he has two of his pieces. He didn't need both. Wow, there's so much happening back and forth here. And now we've got the Baxia. It can't stop it anymore. Oh, man. <laughs> so this is Dang Long combo, basically. You get Copernicus... You get this, uh, and you have the contract, and contract's able to uh, have the Lamia come back for it. Ooh. The pop-off is real. Yang Zing turboing out for this turn, even though it took a while to get there. Yang Zings are just kind of a fun deck. They're a fan favorite that a lot of people enjoy. Uh, I would call them actually meta. This isn't too casual. They're, they're tier 2, I would say. I don't think they're all the way back to tier 3. I think they're tier 2. They definitely end up as an engine and stuff like Metal Foes. Like, uh, this deck is actually almost pure Yangzings. Here's the other way to make Deng Long. I don't know if it happens during this game, but we'll see. This is actually an insanely back and forth game of uh, Yangzing Zephra versus this Yangzing deck. With new cards like Pendulum Mucho. Whereas Easy Duelist here is actually playing with the current format. So he's going to have to beat some future Zephra stuff. And Zephras are getting pretty hype. Ooh, there's that uh, whole start of Star or Charge Warrior. All right. Synchro and Deer in his turn. Ooh, Archfiend. Nice. He's definitely going to have to stop that, and he does. Resonator Call. Zephyr Providence. Ooh. 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 But he's uh, taking the maxi challenge, if you notice. And Zolkin. And uh, even the Ghost Ogre's not going to stop Zolkin, but it gets it off board. So how is he going to deal with Crystal Wing with this many cards? Pretty easily, I would say. There's a Chalice in hand. Main deck. Nice. <clears throat> and as you see, Ding Long Turbo popping off as it usually does. And I guess he just scoops there, seeing everything happening to him. Ah, I wish he let it play out. Now finally, the ultimate meta deck, Zoo. But this is actually ABC Zoo. So uh, you can actually see he open pretty well here. There's a Max C. Uh, wondering why he hasn't dropped it yet. There it is. Goes ahead and drops it here. I'm gonna get at least one off of it, and I assume we're gonna slow down here since we have Max C too. Good back and forth meta play. Probably a bit of what Hunter was able to see at regionals, but this is again the easy duels playing instead. So there goes the uh, Nick Gate, and you're able to stack your chains how you want, so you always resolve them with Dang Long. A lot of people were asking questions about that in the uh, feature match, and he's going to stop Hanger here. There's Molmrat, definitely going to maxi it. Just go to Dryden for the one. Pop staying long. Uh, I, uh, oh, and it gives up there. He says, I don't have the resources. You got this guy. 
<laughs> what he's, oh man, the, the salty dang long pop. So there we have it. And I'm going to start including the deck profiles in these. And let's go ahead and go to it. We've got the dang long dot deck. We've got three Suwani. I guess I didn't show you guys the new way, so I'm going to explain it. One uh, DD Savant Copernicus, double Beyond. Mathman actually sends Plague Spreader for a Ding Long combo. It just costs an extra card. Triple Terra Top, one Takam Tom, double Ghost Ogre, double Maxi. The Plague Spreader engine that was added in here. One Jiao Tu, one DD Lamia, one Speedroid Red Eye Dice, and double Chi Win. We've got double instant, one of the uh, Yangzing Path, double Forbidden Chalice, main for the meta, double Twin Twisters, triple Dark Contract with the Gate, one Torrential, double Dimensional Barrier, one Compulse, one Vanity's Emptiness, one Yangzing Creation, double Oasis, triple nine branches of the Yangzing, and a Solemn Morning. Uh, I'll just scroll through the extra deck slowly here for you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. But you should be able to pause and get Chambar is an OTK piece, much like Gaga Ga Samurai. Uh, you should be able to tell what you want to know from it. Remember, a lot of the time you're making a Herald that can't be killed by battle very strong. Double Gamma Seal, double Flying Sea, double DD Crow, double Dark Hole, double Anti Magic Arrows, double Anti Spell Fragrance, a Teleport, an Esper Girl, and a Nat Beast. So, uh, a cute little Nat Beast combo there to go alongside that can't be killed by battle. What do you guys think of this deck? Hope you all enjoyed this casual Friday, even though it was a little less casual than usual, but DZ deck also was less casual, so we'll go in, in between and forth, like, casual decks that can keep up with the meta, and you can enjoy in your free time. Relatively cheap deck, by the way. I, I know I accidentally did this deck profile shortened, but, uh, don't really feel like redoing a video or a deck profile right now, but we'll have the Blackwing deck profile for you from Kobe. Uh, after this one in the proper formatting.